Hi all, so in the beginning of my video, you're going to hear two introductions of me saying hello. What I did want to mention first and foremost is as soon as I reach 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card because I feel like everybody buys something at Amazon. So enjoy my video and you will hear me in another introduction. Thank you. Bye bye. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami from Cami's Craftiques. I'd like to start off this video by thanking every one of you who has joined in and watched and subscribed to any of my videos, who has given me a thumbs up, left me a heart, and left me a comment. I thank every single one of you. You, you make this so fun for me. So I also would like to say, because this video will be going up at least a week before St. Patrick's Day, please join all of us. We are having a wonderful, wonderful collaboration. It's going to be the second annual St. Patty's Day Fun Box Crawl. It will be 16 unboxings from all different YouTubers. They're all many of my favorites, and I know they must all be your favorite favorites also. So um, that is going to run pretty much a, all day, pretty much on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. It will start off at 2 and it will end at 10. So definitely mark your calendars, set your phones to tune in to everybody. It's going to be a great day. So I am going to today do a fun box unboxing. Uh, where did this come from? This came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So it is like my normal size uh, thread up fun box. I did notice this was open, kind of a little bit damaged. I'm hoping nothing fell out in transit. So we will see that soon. Um, if you stick around to the end of the video, I am going to fill you in on just what's going on in my life. I feel like I've been laying low a lot and I will explain everything at the end of this video because I want to dive in to this box. So I was able to finally score a box um, and it came super fast. I think I ordered on a Tuesday and I think I got it by like a Thursday. So this is what it looks like. My invoice is right here on top. Um, and what was really great about this when I looked at my, um, I think my camera is crooked, so I'm very sorry. Um, when I looked at my, my, you know, my checking account, I noticed that one of the boxes was like twenty, twenty $22. I had like a $25 credit. Now I did hear Christina at, uh, Stina resells. She said they're starting to let us use those credits again. So I want to check that out. I think I'm going to order a couple of more boxes because I have tons and tons of credits. So anyway, I ordered this on March 5th. It says $34, but I know I did pay less for that. So, you know, I ordered two boxes that day, but we're only going to do one box because I think I'm going to have a surprise coming up soon for everyone. So again, this is what it looks like. Oops. This is what it looks like. We're going to peel back that tape, uh, not tape, tissue. That's what it looks like. And let me just slide that on the side and let's dig in. <laughs> so right off the bat, we got Brookstone Nap Sherpa footies. So, oh man, these are super duper soft. And there's the non-skid. They're like a light colored gray. They're memory foam. And they were bought at Marshall's, but they did take off the price tag. So I'm going to Google that and see how much they go for. It says one size fits most. 
Ultra Plus Memory Foam Non-Skid uh, Silicone Printed Back. And what else is there? One size fits most. Okay, so if anybody is interested in any of these items, please comment below. Let me know that you're going to send me an email to camiscrafteeks at gmail.com. I'm not very good at checking. That's why the email over there. So that is why I'm saying if you see anything that you want, just let me know. I'll send you an invoice that way, but comment below and say, hey, check your email. So if anyone's interested in these, I would say $5. And that's without shipping, because I don't know what shipping would be. And I am going to try to get you the cheapest shipping that I can. I'll do pirate ship and see what happens there. Um, so this is Lily said Sadoi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's S A D O U G H I and L E L E Lily. And let's see what this is. New with tags. I see a price tag of $75. Raffia netted knotted headband. How awesome is that? This is super cute. It has like the knot on top. That's my puppies. It, they're talking. It's okay, Lola. And it's like a woven raffia. Inside is black with a little print. It's, it feels super soft. I think this is really pretty. I can't believe this is, what did I say? $75. So it comes in the little pouch. If anyone is interested in this, you guys, I would say, I would say $15 if anyone's interested in this. It was 75, yeah, so $15 plus shipping. And trust me, I am gonna be marking these higher, listing these higher. But you, you all, you, you all have been so very good to me. It, I, I can't express it. How, how much I, I appreciate every one of you. So this next item is Sojo's, and oh, this cool. So it is an eyeglass case. It's a a faux leather leopard or cheetah print. I'm not sure what that, which one that is. I think that's more of a leopard print. And there is Sojo's. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And they are sunglasses. Um, yeah, Sojo's. Model number, I can't tell. I'd have to put my old lady eyes on for that. But here they are, Ooh, pretty nice, I like them. So I don't know what comps are on these. I would really have to look, I'm not sure of the brand. If someone is interested in this, let me know. I like, I really like the, the case on this. It's like velvet lined and I just like how it closes. So I will put a price tag up if anyone is interested. I'm just going to do a little bit of research on that. If you all know something about it, please, please, please let me know. Okay, the next piece is the Herschel. And it is Welcome to Herschel. I've heard of Herschel. Um... It's kind of a little, I, I, my phone would definitely fit in here. There's a little like a cross body strap or you could just use it like this on your shoulder. Um, I think I got to air it out a little bit. It kind of smells a little bit like maybe cigarettes and perfume. So it's not a heavy smell. But I am going to add that out. I'm going to put some baking soda in there and see how that goes. And I, 
I'm not sure of a price, but before I, I would list this, I would definitely want to get that, that smell I smell out of it. So anyway, there's a small little zipper pocket here. Great for like uh, maybe some change, maybe a debit card. And then the top zip, it has like that little slip pocket there. And then it's open. And I know my phone for sure would fit in there and I do have a larger phone. It has the little top handles. It has gold tone hardware. And there it is, Herschel. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to air this out and I will also list the price. That was my puppy, I'm sorry. I'll also list a price on that. Okay, so the next piece is New With Tags, La Perla. And it is, let me see what size it is. Uh, I'm not sure. US 38. It is a sheer nightgown. This is really pretty. This is super pretty. So it has the lace on the cups. There is underwire. Make sure none of that underwire is poking through. Nope, it's not. This is really pretty. And this is what the back looks like. New with tags. There we go. So I'm going to look this up also. But this is super pretty. Okay. And that is what the bottom looks like. So I have to check out the sizes. Um, let's see what it says. It says Italian for, I guess French, France rather, F it says, is 95. Then it says D, 85, UK, 38. I guess the E is for European for US, it looks like a size 38. Um, and then... Yeah, I don't know the price or anything. Let's see what it says over here. It just says La Perla Black Label. So there is that. And I'm going to do a little research on that. And I will also put up a price for you guys before I list. Okay. So here is... A bag of goodies and they're curly laces so we have a bunch of shoelaces here we have some black and white we have a pair of white I did the black and white already we have a pair of black and gold we have a pair of neon green, like a lime green, and an orange, like a neon orange. So I will look these up to see how much these go for. If anyone is interested in these, I would say $2 each. If you're interested in any of those. And there's five of them. If you're interested in all of them, I would say all five for $8 then. Okay. So this also came in a bag. And this is some kind of strap. It is a gold, a black, like a, like, not really metallic, but kind of, there's a shine to it. So it's red, black, and like a gold with gold tone hardware. So I, I know there's some handbags. I've sold some handbags like this. Yep, 
by Adorned. That's who this strap is made by. I have sold an Adorn bag. So, uh, if anyone's interested in this strap on here, I would say, I'm going to say $10 on this because these straps go for, for a good amount. I sold the bag with a strap. And I think I got about 50 bucks for the bag that time. And we have a pair of John's Crazy Socks. These I'm going to keep for myself because there's stars and moon and the sun. And I like all of that stuff. So I'm going to keep these for myself. So that's that. I always get socks in my bags. Okay. Wow. Okay, so here is New With Tags, and it is Leva, 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 Leva & Co. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's that. And there's a handwritten tag on this side, $78. So I'm going to do some research on this. This is definitely a new-to-me bag. Um... This feels like, um, like kind of like a nylon, but it's like a soft silky. So here is the one compartment here. Okay, and it's, in my light, it looks like almost an olive green. Okay, it has the magnetic snap closure. If anyone knows about this bag, please, please, please. Let me know. So there's a zipper pocket in here. Let's make sure that zipper works. Yes, it does. And then there's two slip pockets here, like for your eyeglass case and maybe your phone. And it's, you know, it does expand. So this is pretty cool. And then it comes with this I think this is real leather. This feels definitely like real leather. Let me see if there's a tag in there that I can see. Yeah, I can't see that tag. Um, maybe. Yeah, no, I can't see that tag. But I think this may be real leather trim. And that's the strap that goes with it. Never used. So, if anyone's interested in this, it's saying $78, uh, $78, I would say $20 for this bag. And there's one more thing, and it's by Fossil. I'm going to think it's a watch, and it is. So, it's... um. Like that rubberized, I can't think of the name of it, uh, band. It's like a melon color. Uh, it may, it's probably needs a battery. It has like the rhinestones around it. So I am going to Google Lens that and I will put a price up there. And it comes in the pouch and I will put in a battery to make sure this, this works. So let's do the count and because we're done, let's see how many things I got. I got one, the fossil watch. I got two, the Levite. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Crossbody bag. That's two. Three, the pair of socks. Four, the sexy little nighty. Five, the cozy Sherpa socks. Six, the Lily, the last name that I can't pronounce, Raffia headband. Seven, the Adorn Strap. Eight, the Herschel 
little mini pack. It's like a mini backpack. Nine, the Sojo's sunglasses in case. And 10, a bag full of curly shoelaces. So that pretty much ends up the, the fun box. So now if you're interested in what I've been doing and where I've been going. So I, I feel like I've been kind of MIA lately. I, I just, I've had a rough couple of weeks. Two days before Valentine's Day. I, um, excuse me, I need a sip of water. Okay, thank you. Two days before Valentine's Day, I was at work, and all of a sudden, I, I had to keep going to the bathroom. So all of a sudden, I came out, and I said to a friend of mine, I said, Teresa, I think I have, uh, I think I have, like, a UTI. I said, this is ridiculous. I'm, like, going to the bathroom every few minutes. So as I was saying that to her, I, I said, I think I'm going to have to go to the doctor. As I was talking to her about that, I got a bad pain under my left rib cage. And I said, to her, oh my God, I got a, you know, I have a bad pain here. So I said, I'm going to pack up my stuff. It was about two and a half hours before I would normally leave for work. I said, I'm going to pack up my stuff. I'm going to talk to the bank manager because I work in a bank. I said, I'm going to tell him I'm going to have to go. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not feeling right. So, hi, Lula. So, he came walking by and I was like, hey, Carlos, I, I'm going to need to go. I'm not feeling well. I, and all of a sudden, I got more pain. I go, I think I might have a kidney stone. Now, I never, ever had a kidney stone before. But I remember my mom when she had it. She, she got a lot of pain. So he was like, yeah, 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 go, 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 you know, go home. So I went home and I literally, literally live 10 minutes away when there's no traffic. And at that time of day, there really is no traffic. I felt like my 10 minute ride was about 10 hours. As I was driving, I was getting, I felt, I, at this point, I was sure it was a stone. I felt it moving down and I was driving in such bad pain. So I got home and I'm like thinking to myself as I'm walking in the house, oh God, puppies, please don't jump all over me. Please, please don't. So I came in, sure enough, they jumped all over me. I let them out and I was like, come on, come inside, lay down with mom. So I went in my bedroom, hi baby girl. Yeah, yeah, do you remember that day? So I went in my bedroom and I'm like debating, should I go to the emergency room? Should I call the doctor? And I was like, no, I'm going to rough this out. So, because that's how I am. So I'm laying down and I Google how to pass a kidney stone. So it says, if it's tolerable, lay on the side where there's the pain. So I decided to do that. I lay on my left side. Not even 10 minutes later, I got real, real excruciating bad pain. And I went into the bathroom and I was like, I'm getting rid of this bad boy right now. I literally felt it move about five inches. And it was painful. Pain, pain, pain. So I went into the bathroom. Literally, I dropped a drop of pee. That's all I did. A drop of pee. And I was like, this is not good. And the pain was getting so, like, unbearable. So I stood up. I'm washing my hands. And I was like... Oh no, I feel nauseous. I, I think I'm going to be sick. So I I like was looking around. Sure enough, I, I was thrown up. I threw up like four times. So now I'm cleaning up the bathroom. I'm brushing my teeth. I throw out my toothbrush. I do the mouthwash, everything. I'm wiping everything down. And I noticed the pain. The pain subsided. But, like, I had chills and everything. So, with that, I then laid down. I went to sleep for about four or five hours. Next morning, like, after that, I woke up. And I was, like, I guess, I, I yeah, I was okay. I didn't have any more pain. I ate, like, a light dinner. And 
I went to work the next day. But I kept thinking to myself, I didn't pass no stone. Like, it must be hanging out in my bladder. So that was two days before Valentine's Day. Two weeks later, I'm at work, and all of a sudden, I have the urge again to go to the bathroom. I was like, oh, no, here we go again. So I started getting bad pains in the lower part of my abdomen at this point. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. But then, again, I'm packing up my stuff. I'm going to go home. That's it. I'm going home. Because all I keep thinking about is, if I'm going to pass this stone, it is not going to be here at work. So I, I start packing everything up. The pain disappears. Okay, I finished the whole day of work. And I was like, you know what? Tomorrow I'm off because I was working on the Saturday. I was like, I'm just going to go to my doctor. So what I did was I called the doctor. I told her what, you know, I told the the girl, you know, who works there, who answered the phone, what, what was going on. She has me come in right away that day. So I go to the doctor. Sure enough, she goes, you have all the signs of kidney stones. She said, you know, I'm going to send you a script to get blood work and a CT scan. So on and off, you know, that was not this week, the week before. As soon as I left the office, I made an appointment for blood work. And I also made the appointment for the CT scan. So yesterday was Friday. My dogs are just kissing me. Yesterday was Friday. Sure enough, I missed the call from my doctor. And Monday morning, I'll be calling. So in the meantime, she also tells me no travel. And I'm like, I have to fly. I'm flying up to New York on the, the 15th, March 15th. So, because it's my grandson's birthday. So she was like, uh, I don't think so. Not if you have a kidney stone. So now I'm at the point of, am I passing these kidney stones? Do I need to get blasted? Because I'm thinking, if I'm just going to be passing them on my own, hopefully I could travel. If not, and I need to be blasted, well, I'm not going to be able to go to my grandson's birthday on his parties on the 17th. Um, same day as the 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 St. Patrick's Day Fun Box Hall, hall and Crawl. Um, so I'm kind of up in the air. So I feel like I've been laying low a lot lately because I just haven't really been feeling well. And then today I woke up, <clears throat> I know I must sound a little weird, with a bad sore throat and a cold. But you know what, things could be worse. Um, I'm gonna get this stone taken care of. I'm just hoping I could go see my grandson. You know, I miss, I have three grandchildren, I miss them so much. And I miss my two daughters a lot and I haven't been there since November. So, you know, I'm hoping uh, that, you know, I could go up. But on the flip side of things, last weekend I got to see, or the weekend before maybe, I think it was last weekend, I got to see a friend of mine who moved to Florida. We met halfway at St. Augustine and we spent the day together with uh, like two other friends of mine, the ones I always go out with. So that was really great. So if you've never been to St. Augustine, really take a trip there. You do need more than a day though, for sure. We were there just for the day. Me and my two other friends, we plan on going back. So let me know about that if you haven't been to St. Augustine. So with this whole reselling venture that I'm on, I really would like to start traveling a little bit more, like doing small little road trips. It's just like I don't really want to travel so much on my own. But I think I'm going to start and I'll bring the camera and my adventures with me, with you, and I'll share with you. But anyway, that is all I have for today. If you stayed to the end, thank you. I also want to mention that I will be doing a giveaway card. And um, as soon as I reach 500 uh, subscribers, we are going to do a giveaway. Everyone's going to send me a comment at that time when we get when I reach 500 I'm not quite there yet I'm hoping in the next maybe month or so I'll be there hopefully by by the end of April 
So that I will be doing a $50 Amazon gift card for that. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and comment. I truly do appreciate every single one of you. So have a great day. Have a good day. Have a great weekend. See you all soon. Bye-bye.